Here's hoping you'll never have to. But just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. Now the jack, jack handle, and winch handle tools are stowed behind the rear left side trim panel in the rear cargo area. You'll need to turn the two cover latches to release the cover. Remove the pouch containing the scissors jack, jack handle, and tools, and set them aside. Okay, now let's remove the spare tire. It's stowed inside a protective cover located under the center of the vehicle between the front doors by means of a cable winch mechanism. The spare tire drive nut is located on the floor under a plastic cap at the front of the floor console. You can remove the console by lifting from the front. You'll need to assemble the spare tire tools into a T-handle and place the square end over the spare tire winch drive nut. Go ahead now and rotate the nut to the left until the winch mechanism stops turning freely. This will lower the tire to the ground and allow enough slack in the cable so you can pull the spare tire out from underneath the vehicle. Once you have the tire out from under the vehicle, stand the tire cover assembly upright and remove the wheel spacer by squeezing the winch retaining tabs together. Push the retainer through the spare tire to release it from the wheel. Now you're ready to loosen, but do not remove the wheel lug nuts by turning them to the left one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. Blocking both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. If changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. There are two jack engagement locations on each side of the vehicle body. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. You can remove the lug nuts and pull the wheel off the hub. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug nuts with the cone-shaped end toward the wheel. Lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the left. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug nuts. Alternate lug nuts until each lug nut has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by your authorized dealer or at a service station. Now place the flat tire and compact spare tire cover assembly in the rear cargo area, raise the winch assembly back into position, and you're ready to go. A quick note though, do not stow the deflated tire in the spare tire location. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or Chrysler.com owners for complete details and other important safety information.